All right, guys, today is the big day to build the big bookshelf right here in this nook behind our oven. Now in our house, we have a lot of slatted wood shelving over the computers, in the closet, just all over the place. So I kind of want to stick with that theme. I like themes and I like being consistent throughout the house. So the bookshelf is going to be made with one by four lumber slatted shelves, but I think it's gonna be really cool. So I'm going to pull out the lumber, start cutting it to length, and I'll show you guys the process. Let me see how it goes. Now I think I got all the wood cut for the bookshelf. I got the shelves, the uprights, and these thin pieces which we're going to be painting. The black paint is dry and I'm ready to start assembling the bookshelf, believe it or not. This is gonna be a pretty simple shelf, so there's not a lot of prep work. So let's see it come together. Okay, I got three of these frames built and these are gonna be the main frame of the bookshelf. Now I'm gonna take these black pieces of wood and I'm actually gonna frame up the middle box just so you guys know what's going on. So this box right here, I'm just gonna be lining with the black wood. You'll see it when it's all done. So what we did was made our three frames and then on this one frame I attached, you can see, little strips of wood all the way around. Those are the strips are painted black and they're half an inch wide so they sit just a little bit in from the edge of that wood. And here you can see it, side view, inside view. Really cool. You'll notice on this one part, it's flush. I did this one end all flush and then these all set in. But that's kind of what it's looking like right now. And so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be putting some pocket holes along this board 
and around this one on both sides. And so I can join them to these. I'm gonna be joining all three of these together like that. So I'm just gonna do some half inch pocket screws, pocket holes. All right, I'm gonna do the same routine. Drill pocket holes all the way around, attach it to this middle piece, and then we'll have one solid unit. Let me show you where we're at now. I was just laying out where I want my shelves. I'm gonna be pre-drilling holes and then screwing these in just like this to help support the shelves where I want them. The shelves are in, these are looking really good. Now I wanna join the shelves together on the bottom. I like doing this. These shelves are actually plenty strong enough right now, they don't need anything else. But I don't like it when one is higher than the other because sometimes the wood bows a little bit. So by just joining them together in the, in the middle, it kind of creates, um, can you see that? Just a piece of wood in the middle to hold them. It'll just keep the shelves all level with each other. All right, I got my center supports in, and that really pulled the shelves together. They look really good now and straight. What I did was I countersinked some holes and I screwed them. Now I got one last piece of decorative work to do, and that's these pieces of trim that's gonna go right on the face under the shelves to cap it off. But what I wanna do is put a little bevel on them to um, just add a little fanciness. So last night after I got the last trim put on, I hole filled it all with some wood filler and let that dry, sanded it off, blew it off, cleaned it off. The whole thing looks really nice. So today I'm gonna to be shellacking it just to seal the wood, give it a nice little protective coat. That's all I know. A black seal. Yep. When the brush went over it, it smeared it with black mark. The shellac is dry. I'm gonna flip this over now and get the back on it.
Now I needed a back for this bookshelf and I looked around at what I had in the barn and I think I found something cool. I know some of you guys aren't gonna like this, but look at this. We got another piece of the original paneling out of the house. We're gonna put it back in the house. This might be weird, might be cool. We're gonna use this at the back of our bookshelf. So we're back at the beginning where the shelf is gonna go. I cleaned it out, it's ready to go in. I'm gonna go out to the barn, Ashley and I will carry it in, and you guys will see the finished product. Minus some trim work we gotta do on the outside. Hopefully we can get to that today. But it's gonna feel so good to get this done. And I think the shelf came out amazing. Again, just using simple one by four lumber, we made something really cool. You can set your end down on the tile. Oh, it's snugger than I expected. I don't know what it's hitting. Oh, it just pop out. Yeah. So my opening is too small or my shelf is too big. Let me measure, double measure. We'll check it out and see what we can do to make it work. So here's the truth of the matter. Uh, the shelf should have been a little narrower. It came out about an eighth of an inch wider than I expected. I'm not sure if that was just because the wood was thicker than I expected or just the sloppiness of putting wood together. I should have made it shorter, should have. But I can cut this away because behind here is just a flat two by four sideways and it's gonna be easy to just trim it back a little bit. So we'll widen this opening and hopefully the shelf slides in. This is dusty, can you close all the bedroom doors? What? This is really dusty, can you close all the bedroom doors? Yeah. This is gonna trigger the smoke alarms. All right, I'm back. We got it all cleaned up and cut this back a little bit. I think it should fit in nicely now. I'll tell you guys what though, cutting drywall with a circular saw is not the best idea. That made a huge dust storm in the house. We're gonna be dusting that up for a long time probably. All right, I just finished up the trim work and I'm gonna call it quits for the night. I got a lot done and I'm happy with how the shelf came out. All we gotta do is hole fill some holes and shellac the trim and this thing is finished. But you guys get the picture, you get the point, you see it. I think it came out really pretty awesome. The black lines give the illusion of open slots without actually being open slots going into the wall. 
to mimic the shelf design. I really like that. Now down on the bottom, the black is flush. So there's no place to hold dust and dirt. Now I know some of you guys don't like this paneling and aren't gonna care for that in there, but I had it and I used it, so it's fine. Uh, we had some wood tone paneling as well. Maybe I could have painted this, I just couldn't bring myself to it. Ideally the back of this would look beautiful with something like this on the back of it. And we didn't want to go without showing you guys the finished bookshelf filled up with books. Feels so good to have a spot to put all of these. We got them off our floor, out of our closets. They were kind of scattered everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> we put most of the kids' books down low, our books up higher, obviously, so we can reach. And now they're kind of central to the house, to the living room, to the bedrooms. Really fun. We love being organized and this feels so good to get this project done. And this was like the last thing we had to do in the house. Yep. Besides painting Belle's room, which we're going to be doing soon. We've been cleaning everything out of there, getting ready for that. And it's almost there. I don't know if we're going to show it or not. We'll probably just paint that and get it probably. over with. And then a couple little trim pieces. And guys, the house is done inside. But don't worry, there's more jobs coming. In fact, we'll probably have a brand new roof being delivered this week. Uh, we ordered shingles, sheathing, the whole thing. So roof project coming soon. We got to get that done and then we'll be on to the next job. Which would be siding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so again, we appreciate you guys watching and until next time, take care. Bye. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs>